Hello, dear students. My name is Abhishek Singh, and I welcome you all in the very important session of Study IQ IAS English. So, before you could start, let me ask you a simple question: Who made Taj Mahal? I hope everybody of us uh, know it. And who made the Agra Fort? Again, we all might be aware. But do you know one thing? That the top institution in our country's historical research, archaeological research, the Archaeological Survey of India, ASI, does not know that who built the Agra Fort. Yes, you heard it right. I'm not saying this. Actually, in a reply to the question asked through the RTI, the ASI replied that it's not sure that who made this Agra Fort. So, what is this entire matter? Let's find out in this session. So, welcome everybody to this class, and I hope that all of you have joined the session on time. So, let us see that what is this entire matter. So, basically, we will be talking about who built this Agra Fort, and ASI doesn't know it. Let's find out that if we are aware about it or not. Anyways, so first of all, if we talk about the Agra Fort, so guys, Agra Fort is basically a uh, you know very uh, important World Heritage Site. It's a UNESCO's World Heritage Site, which attracts you know all the people throughout the country, and uh, uh, it is basically located in Agra, right? Obviously, Agra Fort is located in Agra only, and uh, it is uh, claimed. It is claimed by the various dynasties, including the you know uh, Mughal dynasty. Sometimes the Jats they claim it. Sometimes the Marathas also occupied this fort and initially it was believed that the fort was originally built by the Rajputs. This magnanimous fort is actually modeled on the, on the Gwalior fort that was built in the 9th century. So, what is the exact history of the Agra fort? If we try to find out the exact history, so we can actually say that uh, Agra fort was uh, probably an ancient structure that was uh, rebuilt time and again all right so guys like this session if you are willing to join the regular classes right for the regular preparation of your upsc examination from the prelims to the interview right to the interview so if we talk about that so guys do not forget to enroll do not forget to enroll in the upcoming batch all right so as you can see here right as you can see here that if you are uh, enrolling in the upcoming batch, you will be having a golden opportunity to just, just have the fees 29,999 rupees. But what you have to do, you just have to do one thing, use this code ASR live. Okay, if you are using this code for the enrollment in 2024 English medium batch, which is coming on 19th of June, all right, so you are gonna get the cost only 29,999 so do not forget to enroll so let's continue about uh, learning the agra fort and if we talk about uh, the recent news what are the recent news basically the archaeological survey of india you know the archaeological survey of india it was basically uh, having uh, under the ministry of culture that was basically having an issue that a person from agra only he had filed an rti Related to the knowledge of, you know, related to the query of who built the Agra fort, what was the actual name of the fort, what was the actual construction, and where was it built exactly? All right. So all these things, all these informations were actually asked by one of the persons who was actually looking forward, and who was he? Doctor Devashish Bhattacharya, resident of Agra. All right. In the same RTI, in the same RTI, he also wanted to know about the alterations done by Akbar in the Agra fort. Okay. So, overall, there were a good, no, uh, good number of questions and uh, what answers did the uh, ASI give? ASI told that it does not know. It does not know. All right, everyone. So, if we talk about uh, the Agra fort, you can see this information board in front of the Agra fort, it is uh, there. So, this information board clearly states that Agra is the most important fort of India. The great Mughals, Babur, Humayu, Akbar, Jahangir, Shah Jahan, and Aurangzeb lived here. All right. And uh, it also tells us that it, was, it is mentioned for the first time in 
1080 when a gaznavid force captured it gaznavid force captured it sikandar lodhi was the first sultan of delhi who shifted to agra and and also made in this fort all right so it is claimed that sikandar lodhi probably got this fort which was probably existing even before the beginning of the slave dynasty's rule even before the beginning of that in 1080 ad right so who was that gaznavid ruler what was the name of the original fort who constructed that original fort there are a lot of questions so if we try to find out the answers of those questions we come across a name called as badalgarh fort which fort badalgarh fort but the badalgarh fort itself is not in the existence anymore all right because these are the parts of the legends so if we talk about the badalgarh fort now this is the picture of badalgarh fort which is present in bihar which is present in bihar okay there are you know number of the forts called badalgarh so one is in bihar there is a, another fort called as badalgarh fort so this is the entire picture of badalgarh fort and this badalgarh fort is present where this is present in in jhunjhunu okay in jhunjhunu so we have got various forts called as badalgarh one is in bihar one is in uh, jhunjhunu and the one is also claimed to be the original fort built at the site where agra fort was built by akbar now if we talk further about it so what is the actual history of this fort so guys first of all if we talk about uh, agra the agra was actually described in the epic of mahabharata as the place called as agravan the place called as agravan then in the 11th century a fort named badalgarh that was built of mud and bricks by the rajput king raja badal singh of sikarwar dynasty and at the present site of agra this is basically the claim this is not something factual this is basically claimed by claimed by a few historians all right claimed by a few historians now if we talk about uh, the further details so uh, basically uh, this name right this name is not mahmud gaznavi i'm sorry basically if we talk about the further details so it was right it was a gaznavid ruler right a gaznavid ruler and what was the name of that gaznavid ruler right it was basically right a ruler of the right among the successors a ruler among the successors of gaznavid dynasty right which basically captured this fort for some time in 1080 ad 1080 ad all right and after that what happened this fort was again lost and went into the veins after the arrival of after the arrival of sikandar lodhi in 1487 in agra okay in 1487 what happened he actually captured this fort and decided to shift his capital decided to shift his capital right there is a uh, there is a mention of right there is a mention of a book which is called as tawareekh e khane jahan right tawareekh e khane jahan lodhi so basically in that book in that book uh there is the description given that sikandar lodhi had ordered his court members and had appointed a commission of a uh, a few selected members right a few selected members who decided to choose a piece of land uh, you know an area between delhi and itawa so that entire bank of yamuna was uh, searched and the agra the place of agra was decided fit decided to be fit for making the capital of the lodhis so this capital was finally decided at agra and in the year 1504 ad it was renovated and sikandar lodhi used it as the lodhi dynasty's center of power lodhi dynasty's center of power all right everyone so what happened that this 
basically the city the modern city of agra about which we are talking right now was established by sikandar lodhi in the history if we go further and observe the history so basically agra fort that is called the pride of india in fact you know what that fort was actually built at present stated that was built by akbar however how did akbar reach there because babar defeated ibrahim lodhi the successor of sikandar lodhi and established the mughal rule in india after that humayun came and after that there was the rule of akbar however between humayun and akbar for a brief period of time before right before the death in 40, 1545 sher shah suri had occupied this fort after the death of sher shah suri up to 1556 the fort was under the capture of suri rulers the afghan rulers after that this fort came in the control of mughals once again in the control of mughals once again and if we talk about the later times so what happened basically babar who was the first mughal but it was the uh, akbar who started the construction of this fort in 1565 and the current structure which is standing which is standing in uh, agra it was completed by the year 1573 almost a time period of almost a time period of 8 years all right 8 years now when we talk about this so when the capital was shifted from agra to delhi right so it was uh, the seat of mughal government from the time period of akbar from the time period of akbar up to the time period of shah jahan in the year 1638 when shah jahan decided to shift the right shift the mughal capital uh, he, he shifted the mughal capital from right from agra to delhi from agra to delhi all right so this capital was basically shifted in the year 1638 and after that you know what the city, uh, city of uh, agra it was uh, named as right by that time when the delhi it was having a new city shah jahanabad right established by shah jahan so in that time when shah jahanabad was the new capital of mughal empire agra was called as the akbarabad it was called as akbarabad all right now moving further if we talk about a brief history of the agra city itself so guys the earliest mention that comes in the uh, vedic culture in the vedic literature as the name called name called arya grih what was the name arya grih in mahabharata it's called as agravan then in the time period of the rajput dynasties basically it was founded by raja badal singh he built badalgarh fort probably on the same place as the agra fort it is claimed as i told you then mahmud of ghazni right he he attacked the agra when jaypal was the king of agra okay sikandar lodhi made agra his capital in 1505 1506 as mentioned in the tawareekh e khan e jahan lodhi by niyamatullah by niyamatullah all right everyone so this is the brief history of agra now what is the conclusion basically if we are aware that uh, all these things are present in the public domain all these things are present in the public domain and in fact we also have the description as i told you na as i told you that in 1080 ad right what was the name ibrahim ghaznavi okay ibrahim ghaznavi who had invaded who had captured agra who had captured agra right before him before him right if you talk about before it there was no mention of jaypala right jaypala who was invaded by or who was attacked by mahmud of ghazni right mahmud of ghazni so if we are having the continuous descriptions of uh, the attack on the agra and also having the descriptions of uh, fort structures at agra 
so i do not understand exactly that uh, why has asi declared that they are not very much sure that might be possible only because only because the exact confirmation about the informations that any ibrahim gaznavi the he uh, captured agra or not or any jaypala ruled agra or not this type of claims might be approved by some historians might not be approved by some historians so this is why probably asi has given this uncertain answer even though asi still remains the top body for determining the ancient cultures and history in our country and i hope that it does not uh, does uh, does not do the same in the upcoming time so guys that is all in today's session and i hope that all of you must have enjoyed the session so in case if you happen to love this session do not forget to hit the like button and if you are planning to prepare for the upcoming upsc examination and looking for an english medium batch so you can join our batch which is starting from the 19th june 2023 obviously and there is a special offer for you that if you are using this code asr live you are going to get this entire course in just rupees 30000 so do not delay it get enroll yourself as quick as possible let's meet in the next lecture till then take care guys everybody and make it sure that you do not forget to share this video with your friends as well have a great day ahead thank you so much bye bye and jai hind thank you